Hi, I'm Paris and I'm back again posing as a scientist. A few weeks ago I did a video on an experimental kit sent to me by Mel Chemistry. I think that one was called The Science of Monsters. And in that video I asked if our viewers were interested in seeing me try out this other kit that Mel Chemistry sent me on tin and making really cool things that looked like this. And a lot of people were interested, so I'm back to do another video that will test what I remember from high school chemistry class. Thanks again to Mel Chemistry for sending the kits out, thinking that guy looks like he might enjoy doing science experiments, and I do. This is a monthly subscription science kit where for $50 a month, they send you out initially the big box with all your supplies that you'll use over and over again in different experiments and two different experiment sets and I think each of these sets includes at least a couple of experiments that can be done over and over. And then every month they send you two more of these boxes which have everything you need to do the experiments that are contained in them, the instructions, science facts, and discoveries that you'll probably make while doing the experiments. They also have an app that includes more information about the experiments and a test you can take at the end to see what you've learned. To find out more about Mel Chemistry, check out the link down below this video. In my first Mel Chemistry video, I reviewed the different uh, equipment and supplies you receive in the large box you get when you first subscribe. So I'll link to that video in the description down below this video if you'd like to find out more detail about that. Today, I'm just gonna sort of jump in with doing the metal experiment. The two experiments contained in this box are the tin dendrite and the tin hedgehog. You can see the approximate time that it takes to complete the experiments. Here's a list of the supplies and equipment that are contained in this package that you'll use in the experiments. Here's what you'll need to take out of the large box, the main equipment box you get sent when you first subscribe, and I'll also need four to provide four batteries. This looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool couple of experiments. I think I'll start with the tin dendrite. Metal trees will grow right before my eyes. Up here you can see it's a low difficulty, moderate danger, and again, you should have kids 12 and older doing these experiments, and even so, have a parent or an adult there to supervise, and there are the steps involved. And if rather than trying to decipher the graphics to figure out exactly what to do in the experiment, you'd like to read what to do, they do have that in the app. I've gone to the page for this particular experiment, and they give you information about what you're actually seeing, what's happening and why. There are also different tweaks you can do to this experiment. You can run it again, doing it a little bit different way and you get different results and you learn more things from that. In this experiment, you need to wear gloves. You don't wanna get the reagents on your hands, not good for the skin. They include a set of gloves, both a large size for the parent, I guess, and the small size. This reminds me of doing the hair dyeing and beard dyeing product reviews. I feel so surgical. Okay, this entire experiment will be conducted on the tray. And I need to get my sodium hydrosulfate bottle and my chloride dihydrate bottle. These are packaged separately. So you, you know you have the two you need here. They Place all the sodium hydrosulfate into the vial with the tin chloride dihydrate. Oh, there's not much in there. And this is a liquid. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the liquid into here. Thing. So I gotta do a minute of shaking of this, okay. Pour the stuff from the red cap vial into a Petri dish. Add two drops of liquid soap. Okay, Petri dish. I'm now going to pour this in and try to fill up the Petri dish with it. Then add my soap. Maybe the soap will help to even it out because that doesn't look like it's gonna spread around. Two drops. One. Whoa, it makes it spread all over the place, too. I don't know what it's doing, but now it's covering the bottom of the Petri dish. Cool. Next step is to take the, what they call the crocodile clips. I think we call them alligator clips here. And put them on opposite ends of the Petri dish with uh, part of the metal tip down into the liquid. They don't provide the batteries. I need to get my own four AAA batteries. They're going to go into this. The red and black wires of this will attach to these ends of this wire, which is clipped on here. All that remains now is to connect the black wire to the black clip, and then I should see the reaction start here, growing that tree. And then it says, wait a couple minutes, so I think it takes that long. Do I see something happening there by the black clip? Oh, I think I do. Reaction is occurring I'm guessing precipitating out the tin 
as um, it moves along. So the tin first starts out at the end of the black clip, and then it, since it also can conduct the current, it then becomes the focal point of more tin accumulation, and so it goes moving across the uh, Petri dish. Almost halfway across. It's been less than a minute. It's interesting that in a straight line it's not headed directly for the red clip, rather to the side. Hmm. Now all of a sudden it seems like it realized it went the wrong way and it's heading back over. Now according to the information in the app, if I reverse the polarity, it will reverse the reaction. So the lines that have been going one way will pull back and disappear and new lines will go from the red pole to the black pole. Let's see. I have reversed them. Oh, I see new ones going from the red to the black. I don't see the other ones disappearing quite yet. They seem to be darker going this direction. The other mesh of um, little lines does seem to be getting fainter. I assume it's just um, going back into solution. Interestingly too, they say that if you leave this experiment running, the clips, the ends of the alligator clip that's in the solution will actually dissolve away and form part of this. Pretty cool. Now with the experiment completed, you can go onto the app and read more about what was happening. We were performing electrolysis, which is something I definitely don't need any more of, the other kind of electrolysis. So it explains how electricity is used in this. Um, for people with gold-plated jewelry, which kids probably are more likely to have, they can understand how it is that you get a coating of another metal on top of a ring or a necklace. You don't just paint it on. Several minutes after disconnecting the power, it does look like the dendrites are dissolving. Next up is the tin hedgehog experiment. This one uses similar um, supplies to the last experiment. And I guess if you're lucky, you end up getting something that looks like this. Not quite this big though. It's going to be in this little plastic tube here, but using the macro lens attachment that they give you for your cell phone camera, you might be able to get a picture that looks like this. And I'm certainly gonna give it a try. The graphical instructions are pretty easy and straightforward, but if you wanna see the written instructions, that's over here. So I've got a little bit of my tin chloride powdered in this, the sodium hydrogen sulfate, and pour all of this into the tin chloride and shake it. And if the gloves are looking a little tight, the other ones got wet because of the um, spillage issues I had, so I replaced them with the small gloves. I'm actually conducting my own biological experiment here on the limits of circulation. I've taken my solution, put it into this vial, filled it up one third of the way per their instructions and taken my bottle of zinc pellets and it's cool it's it's very heavy that's a pellet of zinc now i drop it into here and it will start to uh, precipitate out the tin and i should get a hedgehog looking thing that's the plan and it may take a few minutes to see the results here we go Seems like something's happening in there. A little bit of fuzziness appearing on the pellet, which should turn into needles. This is a few minutes later. The solution seems to be kind of cloudy, so I'm not able to get a good look at it. Let me try from the top. There we go. Here's my hedgehog. A half hour later, you can see quite a few pretty cool little needles and spikes. I wish it were in an easier to see through container and that the liquid wasn't quite so cloudy. I will try out the macro lens on my cell phone and see what kind of picture I can get. The macro lens clips right over the lens of your cell phone and it allows you to get in really close for great shots like this.
I was a little disappointed with how this experiment was looking after the first few minutes. I really thought it was just going to be cloudy water with something I could barely see. But using the macro lens to get a close-up view of all the little needles of tin forming on the zinc pellet actually is pretty cool. You can go to their app to learn more about exactly what was happening. And what everyone wants to know, can I keep it? Well, you can keep it, but all the needles will break off. It's just too fragile to exist outside of the solution. Well, that was another cool couple of experiments. Thanks to the folks at Mel Chemistry for sending me this set out. I've had a lot of fun with it. I don't think they're going to be sending me continuous monthly experiments to do, but I did have an idea for a scientific apparatus that I'm particularly interested in and would like to do some experiments with to see what happens in particular conditions. So I might be putting some videos up on Saturday morning seeing what happens if. Whether that sounds interesting to you or not, please answer the poll up here in the corner. That way I can sort of gauge the interest in those sorts of videos. And as always, if you have ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments down below this video. I'll be back soon with more product reviews and maybe more science. You can keep checking back for those videos or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.